Yes, what a fucking day. So, hey guys, how you guys doing today? That's, that's fantastic. This video is pretty daunting because, oh boy, there's been a lot, a lot of like this whole debate over the show and the fact that the actor uh, Orlando Florida, I hope I hope I didn't butcher your name, but uh, he uh, got fired uh, because of the script of the script he read. I'm, I hope he didn't wrote the script, although that would make sense if he did. Uh, of this one episode that was kind of misleading of like the the black people or they suffered and stuff, and we have to rise up. But, like, they kind of mislead the entire episode because we don't really much see that. I mean, sure, we see that in, like, the 1800s where it's, like, the black people being hanged and been slaves and shit. But we don't see anything like that in, like, nowadays, you know? Sure, you, we saw that one black kid uh, got arrested. But the only thing he got arrested for is he, he sold illegal drugs. Um, okay, then. It's kind of the only thing that it's like that like black people do suffer is um, the youth has been what like the youth is the black youth has been corrupted by drugs and gang. I don't know what was the message they're trying to imply, but still, it's just weird. And especially, especially like the uh, old land of Florida. Saying that white writers are like being mean and being horrible. <laughs> okay. Alright, whatever. Come on. I mean, my boy, I, I love you in, in, in evolution. I'm hoping, you know, I'm hoping this won't, this ain't too bad, you know? Because the season two was alright. It's not the best, it gets boring pretty fast. Especially, especially there's some episode that goes to nowhere. Especially the fucking uh, the the gourd when they're trying to when uh, the Mister Wednesday trying to get uh, his gourd near, uh, and it just went to nothing. So spoiler alert if you didn't watch the show, um, yeah, it, his it's just all went to nothing. Like he got the weapon and he loses the weapon by the stupid leprechaun thing. For no reason. It's just, like, fucking worthless. And I'm surprised the character... The... Oatlandis Fordus character, who he's the, the African god, the god of trickster, and the god of, like, he, bas he basically just makes fun of people's stupidity. And it would be funny if he makes fun of that. Great. <laughs> you fucking did all that for nothing. It's like, you're, just, you're like, going to the slaughter. Congrats, you would do all that fucking dumb shit for no reason. All that for nothing. Great. Like, granted, like, yeah, it's like, it was interesting. The only thing that, like, the, that was interesting when they tried to get it was, like, him explaining, like, Thor, his son and stuff. And just, like, it was pretty cool. I mean, it's not the best. It did make me confused, though, because how the fuck uh, the, the electronic boy was there in the first place. I, I thought he was more like modern day technology, not the, the fucking forties technology, but whatever. And the real question is, it's like, what counts as a fucking God? And if, uh, if money and media and the camera guy is a God, does that mean poop can be a God? Some people worship poop for every reason. And what, what about Danny DeVito? Danny DeVito's been worship as a cult. So in that case, we'll have a uh, Mr. Hankey and a Dan DeVito God. So uh, that'll be an interesting episode. And in the world, can these gods can these gods have an afterlife? It doesn't seem like they have. It doesn't seem like they have one. It was size the humans, but what about the gods? The gods don't necessarily have an have an afterlife. So that's kind of dark. They don't really explain anything to that when it comes to their circumstances like that. And what's interesting, guns are also a god for every reason. And it's just, I feel like, I don't, I think it's something, it's people worship or, you know, as a religion. But in that the case, then, then this thing would be worshipped as well as a god. 
So that's kind of frightening. So that's why I showed this. That's why I have this thing right now in my arms. Because letting you guys know that this can be a god. So uh, that's interesting. And of course, the, the guy who wrote the book in the first place weren't really like specific on like which type of god it is. I think it's just some stupid metaphors and stupid political messages and stuff. It's just like, whatever. I'm not really like a huge fanatic when it comes to those. They're not really good in the first place. Especially like the Watchmen ordeal where, um, like, uh, uh Manhattan, Dr. Manhattan transformed into like a black human. And he, so he could suffer the same way as black people did. It just kind of, I don't know, it felt, for, it felt like it was really forced. I haven't watched the episode. I tend not to watch the episodes because, eh, I don't want to waste my time on that. But yeah, uh, American Gods uh, was introduced by my friend's mom. Uh, it, 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 the first season was pretty good. I thought it was all right. It's not the best. The, the lines themselves are pretty corny. Essentially, we have the god, the gods of love, shoving people in their in their vagina. So what the fuck? I mean, hey, I mean that's a could be a kink, you know? That's a fetish right there. We got vor fetish. We got butt vacuuming. I mean, who knows what we got? <laughs> Great, <laughs> just piling up the more fetishes. And in that the case, does that mean fetishes can be like a god as well? Does that mean a, a, sex can be a, a god as well? I don't know. Can that... Well, what about Hitler? Can he be a god as well? I, I don't know. Who knows? Because <laughs> they don't really... They aren't really specific of which type of god they're like... Who he, they could be worshipped. But they're just anything that god... But they're just anything that uh, the person worship. Does that mean my fucking phone can be a, can be a god as well? Because some people worship phone for every reason. It's just kind of idiotic itself. Like the show is kind of idiotic. Like, they don't really explain really much about the gods. But whoever, if, if someone like me in the series, they're probably just smack me in the face and say, shut the fuck up, you don't know shit, you're white. <laughs> That's probably what happened there. That's probably what happened, I don't know. But anyways, uh, yeah, I think the first season was alright. The second season was just boring as hell. For whatever reason, they replaced the actors too, an actress, sometimes with their seasons. It's kind of idiotic, but whatever. Um, and it's just interesting. Like I understand why they, I don't understand why they have to do that. It's really interesting. Especially like the like some of the characters were all right. I mean, they're just not really that interesting. Especially it's just, these are the kind. Of, this is the kind of show that's basically like American Horror Story or True Blood, where they basically focus on sex. It's just fucking retarded. I really wish they stopped doing that. It's just generic. It's dumb. I don't need to see a ditty. I don't need to see a dick. Thank you. I could go porn. I could look up porn for God's sakes to do that. Thank you. So, uh, yeah. It just, it's just irritating, you know? I hate seeing these scenes. They're not entertaining. They're not, it's just stretching out the fucking episode longer. So, good. round of applause for all you guys making the show. It's just irritating seeing this. I mean, granted, like, the gods of... I'm not saying all the sex scenes are retarded or, like, a waste of time. I think the sex... I think you, keep, you should keep the sex scene of the gods of love because it makes sense what, what we should do to that person. Could, granted, granted, I don't want to see, like, the sh like any of the sex scene. It's just irritating because it's just, like, a complete waste of time. Because I hate showing sex scenes. It's it's like uh, uh, Annihilation where they show that one sex scene. It's like, we fucking get it. That he, she was cheating on that person. It's like, okay, congrats. But whatever. Uh, I mean, honestly, if you really want to show... Uh, like, get the ideas of a sex scene. Show the beginning. And then just skip all the rest of this shit. Just show the end. When they climax. You, you know? It's not that hard. It's, you can make it short as fuck. You don't need to make it longer. I don't understand this. It's kind of idiotic, you know, but whatever. 
which I'm glad I'm not the only one who thinks this. There's Penguin Zero. There's a lot of critics out there that think the same thing. So, thank you. And I hope and that way people will say, Shut the fuck up, Eddie. You don't know shit. I could throw hands for you in the fucking week, you fucking virgin. Alright. Cool. Thanks. Whatever. Uh, anyways, so... That's my thoughts on that. Leave a comment below. <laughs> What's your thoughts on the whole ordeal of, like, who could be a god? And let me comment below who, who you want this person to be a god of. Uh, I'm hoping not a dildo. That would be interesting. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video, okay? Bye. Bye. <sighs> Fuck me.